Hi everybody, Paper Panther from Purple Peeps Techniques with another tutorial on a Cricut. And we are going to make this dog robot on page 35 Mommy, is the, of the robot. <laughs> okay, run and go get your sleeper on. Um, the robots, Cricut cartridge, so cute. And I'm going to, I usually always start with the shadow to make sure I have enough room because I'm going to make it quite big. This is a basil green shimmery color. And load paper. And if you look on here, this is layer two shadow. Because I'm always going to start the shadow. I'm going to make it as big as possible and if it won't. So I'm going to hit on my bug, layer two shadow shift because this is this is the shift because it's the second one over and then I'm going to push my little dog and he is robo 8 and he's so cute okay anyway and I'm gonna hit cut and see if it'll let me cut it this big and it's gonna cut fine five and a half was too big I had to turn it down to five and that's why I always do the shadow first just in case that happens so there is the shadow of the robot dog. Let me just pull him off now. Set him aside. Okay, next I'm going to start with the regular, just the dog. So I'm going to load my paper, and this is purple. They have black, they did they did black in the booklet. They did black, this is gonna be the ear, the wheels, the nose, and the back. Okay, and I'm choosing purple. So I'm gonna turn off layer two and I'm just gonna push the dog and I'm gonna leave it at size five because that's what I cut my shadow out at and I'm gonna hit cut I've got my sweet four-year-old girl helping tonight Is that me? <laughs> that's you yes it leaves all these little cuts across it so you'll know you're gonna know where to put the layers on. Okay, Mom. Okay, sweetie. And this is also basil. I love using the basil textured paper. I think it makes it look a bit more professional. Okay, I'm gonna unload that. That's big, whoa, I wanna hold it. You can hold that part. Okay, I'm gonna pull off. See, he's so cute, I love the dog. Okay, I love I'm just that gonna pull him off. You see the other part because I'm gonna put him on like this one. That's cute. See, he's gonna be so cute, huh? Okay, let's do the next step. <gasps> okay, you're ready. Okay, next I am going to cut the regular just without any buttons but shift, and it's going to do the face, the legs, and the little tail, and then that little line there. Okay, so. I'm going to use blue for that, which is actually what they used too. Um, but that's coincidence. So I'll just move this down. Okay, so I hit shift and then I push the dog again, which is your third button over from the space button. Okay, cut. Oh, wait, let me make sure that's sticky. Can I pull that out? So that's cut that. I'm also going to do with the same blue color, I'm going to do layer one. Where's just the button, Mom? layer one without any shifting. So hold on, hold button? on. I'm going to make one more cut. So layer one is right here. Whoops. Oh. I just pushed it twice to turn it off. Make sure it's lit up green. And then I'm going to come over here and push the dog, robot eight, again. Okay, watch out. Okay, push that button right there, sweetie. Yes. Okay, now push that button right there. Great. Okay, grab it. Hey, I'll be, let's see, let's pull this off so you can see. And you need to pull it off kind of careful because it can rip. Yay! <laughs> it's okay, I'm being careful. 
So there it is. There's all the little. Okay, we have one more, two more layers actually to do. So we'll be right back with the next step. Okay, I'm going to load the paper, scoot it down where it's supposed to go. Okay, this one is going to be layer one shift. It's going to be the white, the wheels and the eyes. Um, okay, so what you do, I'm going to leave lay on layer one and I'm going to push shift once and then push the dock. And then I'm going to hit cut. And I'm still leaving the dial at size five. I haven't touched it once. And you have to make sure the real dial size is off or everything will print really wacko. Okay, I'm gonna unload that. So there's those pieces. I'm just gonna peel it off. Oh, where's his hat? <laughs> okay, hold on, we'll get to it. Okay, so what I've done is I've left Mom? the white Where's on down here princess? so I didn't lose any pieces because I have a four-year-old helper. And then I put orange on the top to do the last layer, which is going to be my layer Mom? two Mommy, without any buttons. My princess? We haven't made your princess yet. Nope, I'm doing this right now, but we'll get to it. Okay, layer two is right there, and then I'm going to push the dog and see nothing dog, else Casey. is on. Where's the dog? Right there. Oh. Okay, so you want to push cut for me, sweetie? Uh -huh. Oops. Oh, your poodle fell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well. You push that button right there. The unload paper. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm going to just carefully take this apart. And now we are ready to put him together. Oh, yes, I'm ready. You're ready to. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me oh, move the camera. Okay, so what I have is I left them on the mats. I left it all cut out. I've got two different mats going. And then I am ready to glue him together because he's going to be cute. And I'm just gonna use my aqua glue, my tumbo. Okay, mom. <laughs> okay, sweetie. So what I'm gonna do is just start and try to get all this pretty much well covered. Can I see it? Yes, but you gotta be careful because you keep bumping the table. Sorry. Oh, you're okay, just be careful. I'm glad you're helping me today. Okay, and I know people have all these little, whoops, I think we were supposed to pop out. Nope, we weren't. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I know people have little fancy things like spatulas and tweezers and things like that. Um, and I have those things too, but oh, Mom. who has time to pull them out and grab them? Especially when you have little helpers. Can I hold it, Mom? You want to help? I want to help you put it down there. Okay. So you did pretty good. Yeah. Okay. There's no more colors on him. <laughs> yep, we gotta put the other colors on, huh? Yes, put blue on him next. Hello. I you do want to do the blue color next. Yes. The legs typically and the tail first because the other pieces will cover him. So I'm just using my fingernail. <laughs> and I'm just trying to be careful. So I'm just gonna peel all these off. And the way they came off is the way they go on. So if you've taken them off and you can't remember, it's of course doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a lot easier to know where it's going to go if you take it off as you go. So I'm running out of tape, so I'm just going to hurry and glue those five pieces down and I'll be right back. Okay, so if I have these five pieces glued down just did the same thing and there are lines for you to follow a little bit the guide kind of guidelines so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the face next okay <laughs> okay sweetie make sure you pop out the eyes because you want the color your poodle ones no where's oh 
Okay. Nice to meet you. I stick you are right here. <laughs> Where are your poodles? I don't know. They're right on the tape. Oh. Okay. So make sure you put <laughs> that looks like an alligator, the alligator, mommy. That looks like an alligator. It does look like an alligator. Okay, and to line it up, you see that there's little circles here for the eyes, and it's a little bit. That doesn't look like an alligator. No, it doesn't look like an alligator anymore, huh? I I line you up the top. You forgot his nose. No, oh, there's his nose right there. Oh. Okay. Cute. I'm so excited. He's turning out so darn cute. Okay. Now I'm going to pull off the body piece here. I get a little stuff, Mom. Yeah, just a second. And I'm just going to glue it. Mom, you have to put this like that to that nose. You want a black nose, huh? Yes. Then I should have done black instead of purple. Okay, so they're also, also a line for no, this. No, I like purple. I but don't want black. It's easier. Mommy, I want purple, not black. Right I don't want to line it black. up. I don't want black, Mom. Because it's going to come over the legs a little bit. That's why you put the legs on first. And then it's kind of hard to know. Okay, and this part will be covered here and here all the way across with an orange okay. strip. I'll take this off. It doesn't come off. Oh, careful. Why? Okay, look how cute he's looking. Oh, he's starling. Okay, next. Can I look in the camera? You want to look in the camera? Uh-huh. Just one second. Okay, next we're going to do the orange pieces, which oh. was layer two. Okay. So pull those off. Pull these off. This you off. can pull that one off. I don't need that one. Okay, okay so I'm just going to whoop, move them up so you can see. Glue here. Off, all the way across. And this little guy goes to the base of the body, the main body. Mommy, does it go like this or like to that one? Here you go, Mom. Oh, you can hang on to that one. I don't need that one. And then the cute little circle thing. Oops. Maya, what do you Excuse say? me. <laughs> Can't you go right? Oops, you know what? I did that wrong because this white piece is supposed to go under that. So let's hurry and pull it up before it dries too much. And let's glue this. My camera just shut up. Shut off. Okay, okay. So this is going around here. My five-year-old calls this the clock dog. He says this is the clock. Can I go okay, see? now we're going to take off all the little circles. There are two eyes. They're not the same size. And then those all go on the wheels just as they were printed off. So let me see if I have enough. Okay, I'm back. My four-year-old did not come back with me. She got bored of me clearing off my camera with all these old videos. <laughs> okay, so... Where are we at on this? Okay, on layer one, there was this teeny little blue piece that came off. So, as my son says, this is a clock dog. And it looks like it's on the white circle that's covered with orange in the picture. I don't know what it is. I'm not a robot. But we were gonna, we'll, we'll put it there anyway. And we will put it on, like, make it say 12 o'clock because that's lunch time. And that's my kids' favorite time of day because they just love to eat all the time. Okay, now I'm going to, now I'm going to do the white. And that was the layer one shift. And you pull them off exactly as they are on. Except for this one, my four-year-old moved. And let's start with this one on the far, the far right. 
and it goes and there's even like a little circle you can't see it very well in the video but there are little slits that kind of are guidelines to show you where to put it cute Let's do the eyes. Same thing with the eyes. They're, they per, they cut out exactly where they're supposed to go. So pop out the middle part and throw it away. You don't need it. Okay. I think it's cute that they have them a little bit. They have one eye bigger than the other one, so it gives it a little bit more depth trying to figure out what a robot dog I'm going to take out the middle what a robot dog would sound like and I can't figure it out because it would go like rough rough but robot like <laughs> my son would know I should ask him but he's in bed asleep because it's midnight and my four year old had a late nap so there you go okay he is done. He's super cute. You can put him on a gift bag. You can make a card out of him. You can do what I do and let my kids play with them until they fall apart. But they love them. So thank you for watching. This is Paper Panther. Have a great day. If you need help piecing together a robot from the robot's cartridge, leave a comment. And stay tuned for my card with the robot dog.